My love was strong as a lion, soft as the cuts in you lie. Times we got out like a night. What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today's going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to do this smooth warping camera pan transition effect. You can definitely customize this effect and use this in different directions and so yeah, let's get started with the tutorial in Premiere Pro. Okay, so I have my two clips right here and then we're basically going to go to the middle where the two clips meet and then we're going to press the left arrow key from the middle and then go 10 frames to the left. And honestly, you can do 5 or like 15, but I'm just doing 10, and you're going to want it equal to the other side too. So once I counted 10 little frames, I'm just going to press C and then cut the clip. And then I'm going to go back to the middle where the two clips meet, and then press the right arrow key 10 times as well. So basically, they're going to be equal lengths. So once you counted 10, we're going to press C for cut, and then we're going to cut the clip. Okay, so with these two clips, we're going to make the transition take place. So we're going to go to Effects and then put the six screens effect on both clips. And this is a free preset that I have. I've used it in so many tutorials, so the link will be in the description to download that. And then what you're going to want to do is go to your first clip and change the scale to 300. And then also go to your second clip and put the scale to 300 as well. So now it's back to the normal clip. Okay, so now for the transition, you can definitely customize this. So what I like to do is just play with the position and rotation. So in the beginning of the clip, I'm going to press the keyframe button for position and rotation. And then go to the end of the clip. And then I'm just going to bring the position to the right upper corner. And then I'm also going to just adjust the rotation to like negative 18. So you can play around with these numbers. You don't have to make it go to the upper right corner. You can make it go sideways or downwards or anything but I'm just doing it like this and I like to use the rotation to add a cool looking effect and then I'm gonna go to my second clip and we're gonna need this to match the first clip so we're gonna adjust the position in the beginning of the clip to go to the down left corner and then we're also gonna adjust the rotation to about 17 press the keyframe button for position and rotation and then go to the end of the clip and then press the reset buttons so now if we watch it back it's gonna do this little warp it's looking pretty good so what I like to do is go to our two keyframes in our first clip and then for the position and rotation I like to drag those two keyframes and then right click and press temporal interpolation and then press ease in and then I like to go to our second clip and then I'll hold the last two keyframes and go to temporal interpolation and press ease out and then also if you want you can drag the first two keyframes and press ease in so basically what this is supposed to do is just make the transition a little bit smoother and yeah, it's looking a lot better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just hold the two clips and press Command D to nest the sequence. So now it's just going to become one little clip. And then we're going to go to Effects and search up Lens Distortion. And we're going to put that on our clip. And then we're also going to search up Blur and put on Directional Blur on our clip. Okay, so now in the beginning of the sequence, we're going to press the keyframe button for Curvature and Vertical Decentering. And you can also work with horizontal decentering, but I'm just going to work with vertical. And then we can go to the middle, and we're just going to press the curvature um, just a little bit in. So I'm going to about negative 34, and then you can also adjust the vertical decentering. And then you can go to the end of the clip and press the two reset buttons. So now if you watch it back, it's basically going to zoom in, but it's also going to be warping at the same time. So it's kind of like a similar effect to a lot of popular filmmakers when they use this sort of transition. So what I like to do is also just adjust the vertical decentering so it has a little like slidey effect. And yeah, just play around with those numbers to get something you like. Okay, so for this one, we're also going to hold the last two keyframes and press ease out just so that it's a little bit smoother. Okay, so now we can also work with the directional blur if you want to add a little bit of motion blur. So in the beginning, I'm going to press the keyframe button for blur length and then go to the middle. And I like to keep it at about 15. And then we're going to change the direction to the direction that the transition is moving, which is going to the upper right corner. So we're going to go to 35. And then we're going to go to the end of the clip and press the reset button for blur length. So now it's just going to add some motion of blur. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. You can work with these effects and just make something that you like. And you can also add RGB 
split onto this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.